Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, System Integration, and Architecture Series. Today is our lecture number 8. Let's proceed to our topic, Enterprise Resource Planning, Part 1, Introduction, Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP Programs, Core Software Used by Companies to Coordinate Information in Every Area of Business. It helps manage company-wide business processes and use common database and shared management reporting tools. Another is in the business process, collection of activities that takes some input and creates an output that is the value to the customer. Now, in functional areas and business processes, the key role of ERP system is to provide support for business function. Another is to understand ERP, you must understand how a business works, such as functional areas of operation and business processes. And functional areas of operation, and under this we have marketing and sales, supply chain management, accounting and finance, human resources. And the last, we have business function, activities specific to a functional area of operation. Now, in ERP modules, and we have in the figure business rules, ERP vendors, including SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft, etc., provide modules that support the major functional areas of the business. The ERP software embeds best business practices that implement the organization's policy and procedures via business rules. So under the figure, we have ERP at the center and we have some of the programs and even its working committees of, or functions such as logistics, accounting payable, staff floor control, master scheduling. So those are incorporated in ERP. Now in ERP modules from three vendors, SAP, Oracle, or PeopleSoft and Microsoft Dynamics. Under its sales, so in SAP, we have sales and distribution, sales opportunity. And in Oracle, we have marketing and sales, supply chain management, and Microsoft Dynamics, retail post, field service management. So you will notice they have a different identification in terms of sales. Now in procurement, purchasing supplier relationship management under SAP and under Oracle, Procurement and Supplier Relationship Management and on Microsoft Dynamics we have Supply Chain Management and again they are very different to each other. They are all ERP and it depends upon you of what you're going to select as a software integration. And the last we have Production MRP under SAP Product Lifecycle Management. Under Oracle it's Manufacturing and under Microsoft Dynamic, it is manufacturing. What do you mean by this? So, in terms of production, it has been created in the manufacturer like Oracle and Microsoft. But in SAP, it can be developed in a very different way like university, even though IT good enough. Now, let's move on on the continuation of ERP modules from the three vendors. So, we have in accounting, we have financial accounting in SAP, financial management in Oracle, and financial management also in Microsoft. Distribution, warehouse management in SAP, supply chain management in Oracle, distribution management in Microsoft. Customer service, CRM, CRM, they are, they are similar in terms of cost. Corporate performance and governance under SAP, governance risk and compliance management, Oracle, corporate performance management, and under Microsoft, Analytics. Now in human resource, we have human capital management under SAP, human capital management also in Oracle, and HR management in Microsoft. Now let's move on to the marketing and sales. Functions of marketing and sales, we have advertising and marketing product determining price. And promoting products to customer, we have taking customer's order, helping create a sales forecast and customer support and the last customer relationship management now marketing and sales continuation needs information from all other functional areas customers communicate orders to ms in person or by telephone 
email, fax, the web, etc. So, MS stands for Marketing and Sales has so role in determining product prices. Such as pri pricing might be determined based on a product unit cost plus some percentage markup. Requires information from accounting and finance and supply chain management data. And uh, marketing and sales needs to interact with human resources to exchange information on hiring needs, legal requirements, etc. Now, the marketing and sales functional area exchange data with customers and with human resources accounting and finance and supply chain management functional areas which is considered on the figure so we have here the, on the at the center the marketing and sales going to customer HR AF and SEM and these are their process now marketing and sales under inputs for marketing and sales so we have customer data order data sales trend data per unit cost travel expense company profile and under outputs we have sales strategies product pricing employment needs next let's go now to supply chain management functions with supply chain management such as making the product or manufacturing production buying raw materials purchasing receiving goods and raw materials transportation and logistics scheduling production of products and plant maintenance continuation needs information from various functional areas production plans based on information about product sales actual and projected that comes from marketing and sales sales forecast analysis that attempts to predict the future sales of the product with accurate data about required production level we can identify raw materials and packaging can be ordered as needed and another inventory levels can be kept low saving money supply chain management data and records can provide data needed by accounting and finance to determine how much each resource was used. Another is support the MS function by providing information about what has been produced and shipped. And the last we have supply chain management interact in some ways with human resource. And we have here the figure of supply chain management SEM at the center. Then the same as goes to HR board, supplier. Next supply chain management we have input for SEM product sales data, production plans, inventory levels, layoff, and recall company policy. Continuation, the output for SEM, raw materials order, packaging orders, resource expenditures data, production and inventory reports, hiring information. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, successfully finished our lecture number 8.